Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Fitchick 777 and today I am coming at you. This is video number two in a uh, small series of uh, tutorials DIY for uh, Christmas Bazaar projects. The most kind of requested uh, questions that I have um, asked to me, you know, how did you do this or how did you do that? And some of these tutorials may seem um, kind of easy for some, but they're the most kind of asked or requested. This particular tutorial, we are starting off with kind of the same uh, basis as the last uh, video up, which was the Bed Spring Snowman tutorial. And a lot of people ask, you know, they want to see a video on how to make some of the ornaments. So today I'm going to show you uh, some of the ornaments, and we'll make one of them uh, that we're going to make. And it starts with the process of, you know, the Bed Spring Snowman tutorial. So let me bring in and show you um, what we're going to be working on. Every one of them is different um, in design. Okay, so there's something like that. Um, I've got something like this. Same kind of design <clears throat> using a different product down below. We'll discuss that in a minute. Um, I've got one like, let me pull it out here, one like this using those large bells from Dollar Tree. Okay, so options are what we're going to start with and what we're going to use. Most of them, that first ornament I showed you, uses these ornaments. You get two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. They're just plastic ornaments, okay? Um, that was this one, okay? This one, I just had some of those home decor balls that you get. You know, you get a little package of balls you fill a vase with. I think it's like a, a papery type one. Um, and it, you know, it had the swirls, the brown on it. Really cute. Okay, it looked like this when I started. And I had like a package of these really lightweight. So I just kind of did that a glitter effect on the outside and decorate it. It's just because I had it left, okay? And then a lot of us have those large... Uh, Dollar Tree also sells those great big bells, okay, so that's what this is, or you can get them like this, they put things on them, they're like door knockers you can hang, okay, and let's see the silver one, which one did I show you, I think I showed you, yeah, white one, so let me show you the difference using like either the white bell or the glittery one already um, done up for you, so here was the white one, we didn't do anything to the bell, we left it just plain, okay, and that was uh, the effect on it, and then here's the one that's silver and already glittered, took it apart, and we have this beautiful, you know, effect on it, so, you know, going from, obviously, just from this, and take that stuff off to this, is a lot more prettier and easy to do. And it's economical, because, you know, you just buy picks from, like, Walmart or um, Dollar Tree. You cut them up, make them go a long way. You can get, you know, maybe six picks. They're, like, 98 cents each. You cut them all up. This is actually, like, uh, mini ornaments that you find at Walmart, and I'll show you that. But you cut them all up. You just layer different ones, and you make them go a long way, okay? Um, so let me really quick just show you uh, some of the, like, the picks that I use. So, you know, like Walmart has, and some of them might be like a dollar ninety-seven or something, but Walmart has like these picks. You see them all the time. So they have like, you know, the big poinsettia. They've got these great things in, um, sticking out. And some of those I use, like right here, let me show you. Let me bring it back up again. See, here's some of those things sticking out, okay? Great. Um, and these poinsettias, obviously you could use the poinsettia, but I like to, um, sometimes I cut them apart because those look like cool leaves. So you've got these awesome leaves on your project. And then you could use the middle center ball in something, okay? Um, Let's see. Oh, this. I'll get these. This is already kind of cut up because I'll take this piece. It's usually big, long, and I'll cut it in sections. And I'll use like, you know, a piece of this, cut it in sections, and then use it on um, the project. So let me find one of those where I cut it up in a section. 
and used it. If I've got it down here. Here we go. So this usually is big long on a pick and I cut it. You can cut it in probably to three or four different tiny sections. Here's one right here. It's cut into a tiny section and you can see it really well underneath. See all that red? Yeah, and I just stuck it down there, glued it, you know, obviously, put all the stuff on top. Here's one of those. It was in a real beautiful brown tone. That was a poinsettia. I cut it apart and used it as leaves. You can see it poking all around in there. So just, you know, look at those picks a little bit differently. Find the cheap ones. There's picks like this. You can get at a Walmart. These are $1.48, actually. I cut them apart and I just use, you know, like a squiggle and put it into the project. Uh, let me see if I've got one where I did that with. I might have done that on uh, one of my other little projects. Yeah, I don't have one down here. I've got one that's sort of, it's a different squiggle um, right here. This is from a different pick. It was a smaller. They were a bunch of these littler uh, squiggles. So I just, you know, cut it apart and used it in there. Okay, here is again some of those just little sticks that you can cut apart, like I showed you here on this pick. Layering them in here. Okay, leaves, berries. Berries are easy. You find tons of picks, um, you know, with the frost berries. This is like a 98 cent pick from Walmart. Look at those, just cut off those little berry. You don't want to cut individual berries, but you can cut off like that piece as a chunk. Or uh, Hobby Lobby. These were $1.99, but I got them in the half off sale, so I got them for 99 cents. You cut off those little, uh, you know, beautiful berries and poke them into your thing. Um, this is another one. These were $1.59 at Hobby Lobby, half off. You can take these and pull them apart and just use little individual ones and uh, tuck them into your uh, ornament, which we're going to be doing today. So all sorts of options, um, leaves you can cut off your picks, um, you know, and Dollar Tree has picks, I've used them. Um, ornaments, these are uh, from Dollar Tree, they're in the mini ornament section and they were, they're on clips, you pull them off, they're these little mini poinsettias. Um, you pull them off and cut them off. So here's one I did and I pulled it off the little clip. We'll cut that down and we're going to use that as the center of the ornament like the one that I showed you down here. Okay, here's those little glass balls I showed you. Here's that one where you cut off, remember, you cut off the big, right here, you cut off the berries and tuck them in. Okay, leaves. These are from Dollar Tree Picks. I cut those leaves off. These, the same thing, Dollar Tree picks that you get. These are Dollar Tree picks. They usually have like this and they have like an apple on it and, you know, some, maybe some squiggles. Pull these little pieces off and tuck them in. Perfect. I mean, kind of like, you know, they're smaller than this, but they come like that and they're about half the size because they're Dollar Tree ones. They're perfect. Some of them are already glittered. Lots of options for making your ornaments. So that's what we're going to work on today. So um, the one I'm working with, uh, the ones I showed you were round. I happened to just have one that was an oval shape. I went looking for something else and I saw it in my stash. Um, and I think I had got it at like Hobby Lobby. See, it's kind of a flatter oval shape, but it's the same thing. It's one of those plastic ornaments, okay? Um, the thing to think about on these plastic ones is you do have to use two layers because once you put the stuff on the ornament, let it dry, then you've got to totally like rub it all off, okay, the salt glitter mixture. And then add another layer of the Maj Podge, the salt glitter mixture, let it all dry, shake off the excess for the second one, and then you do need to use some kind of sealer over the top so that you don't get that fallout. Because this isn't like the uh, bed spring snowmen, like this, um, where you're using the styrofoam, um, you know, and it's got all those, the styrofoam has all that texture that the salt and glitter can kind of sit into and sit a little better. We're working on just a flat, you know, plastic, glossy kind of surface, smooth surface. So you're going to get a lot more fallout. So you definitely want to use a sealer. Now, yes, 
you could go in and use the styrofoam balls from Walmart. You know, they have the three pack, the two pack that are a little bit bigger. Um, and then you can take like a, a ornament holder, put a little glue on the end and then shove it down into the styrofoam ball. So it's got a little, you know, hanging uh, part that the, you know, customer can hang on their tree. Easy peasy. Not a problem to do it that way as well. Um, and then they'll be lightweight. Um, also, I have yet to do, because I already had a glittered bell, I have yet to do one of these bells that are glittered, but it'll be the same process. Do the Maj Paj, uh, the sand salt mix, or the salt glitter mixture, wipe off the excess. Again, Maj Paj salt glitter mixture, and then, um, you know, spray it with a sealer. If you don't have a sealer, one uh, lovely, I didn't even think about it, one lovely subscriber mentioned to me, um, it was like a duh moment, hairspray. A cheap hairspray. Uh, those of us that remember the 80s, the Aquanet hairspray, you get like a five gallon can of Aquanet for 89 cents. I don't know how much it is now. Anyway, hairspray. Seal all that glitter on. Nice cheap version than going, uh, you know, into the uh, paint, spray paint section and buying a sealer, which, you know, is four or five dollars. You know, spend a dollar on some cheapo hairspray. Spray it up really good and maybe do two coats that way and, you know, seal in that mixture. Um, I will, of course, there will be a link to the uh, Bed Spring Snowman's tutorial in case there's somebody out there that hasn't seen it. Um, but I will just kind of show you on the bell here just a little quick uh, tutorial on that. Um, so I like to use Mod Podge. I use matte. It doesn't matter if you have gloss. I just, I happen to always, you know, use matte for my projects. So, and I like to use a pouncy brush. I'm going to do a little bit on this bell because then I'll finish it later um, and do one of those, another decorative ornament. But you want to get it kind of thick, especially on these uh, plastic ones because they're just smooth they're not porous so you want to get this is smooth of course too but you want to get like a really uh, thick thick layer at least a decent layer of Maj Podge I'll bring it up to the camera here in just a minute Mod Podge when I'm talking it goes Maj Podge and it's not it's Mod Podge get a nice thick you know decent layer on there you come in with this, uh, I talk in the video more about how the salt and sand uh, work. I use like a, um, some people use Epsom salts. A, a subscriber came up and told me that. Forgot about Epsom salts. I use a kosher salt. Just dump in a couple of cups. I just dump in enough glitter till I like how much uh, glitter is shining through. Um, I put it in a bowl and then I just, after I've Mod Podged, I just scoop on. the salt glitter mixture. I will let that dry and then I will rub off the excess, come in again like I said with the same Mod Podge and salt mixture again. Uh, let that dry and go forward. Now these don't have um, holders on it so what I did is took some wire. I have some white uh, wire I got at uh, Hobby Lobby you can use any kind of you know wire you want, just a silver or whatever. These happen to be uh, their wire, and it's I think it's like a 20 gauge, and it's got like it's covered with like a white fabric. It's in the florist section where you find the floral tape and the floral wire. Um, and all I did was I just kind of cut it in half, okay. And then once I cut it in half, I string it through. Let me try and show you show you on this wet one here. I put it through this, obviously. Okay, cut it in half. After it's cut in half, I twist like the very end of it together. Okay, let me cut off my little excess piece here. And I twist it really good and tight. I'm not gonna do it just right yet because I'm gonna wait more for it to dry. But I twist it really good and tight. Okay, just right at the tip like that. And then I pull it through, okay. I have a lot of, let me untwist it a little bit more at the end so I can pull it through better. Okay, so I pull it through like this and then I bend it up like that. Okay, so you have a piece here, that would be, you know, twisted better, but you have a piece of your wire sticking like this, and then this would be twisted all nice and pretty and neat up here like this. 
okay? And then this part I glue down right there. And then what you'll have is all your picks and designs and stuff right over the top and you won't see it, okay? And then what you end up with, as I showed you before on one of these bells, I'll show it to you from the back, right there. See how it's twisted right through and you end up with it like this. The other part was glued down and then all covered up. So then they have a hanger that they can hang on their tree or hook another hook to it, you know, and hang it on their tree. Okay, so there is that if, um, you know, you're doing a bell. Okay, so there is that in a quick nutshell of glitter salt mixture onto your ornament. I've done it twice. I've sealed it. And here's what we're left with, okay? First thing I like to do is this is the uh, top piece. I like to go in. You take that off, obviously, before you salt mixture it. Um, if you're using a styrofoam ball, you're not going to have that. So like I said, just take a wire uh, ornament hanger and glue it. Don't hot glue it. It'll set in, but like a liquid glue, like a Fabri-Tac or something. So it's going to stick in really good and poke it into um the styrofoam and then you've got a holder okay so i am going to just kind of because these ornaments do get a little bit heavy not bad uh, but i want to just glue this onto my top okay so i'm going to do just a little bit of uh, let me bring my glue gun in i'm going to toot i i like to put it just right along you know this inside this part of the lip and it gets really hot even though i'm not touching it it, that metal gets hot with that hot glue in there. Just a, a little bit, just so it stays hot glued on there, just along the sides. Okay, get that out of the way. With my glue, I gotta work fast because I do have a hot temperature glue gun. Yes, it gets hot, so I try to squeeze these things and get them in there as quick as I can. Ow, 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 hot. I'm not touching the glue, but that metal's hot. And get it in there and if you have to you know use a pair of like pliers or something to squeeze those things shut and get that in there okay that way with all that weight and stuff and someone doesn't go to hang this the lid doesn't just pop off okay so I just like to glue that right on there okay hot metal all right then um, then we're going to start with uh, some, let's go with our base. I like to usually put the uh, leaves, bigger leaves first, kind of build up. Um, or if you're not working with, uh, you know, a whole lot of like greenery, you know, leaves or like greenery first. Or if you're not working with anything like that, I like to put those little stick things first. Okay, so anything pokey outy leaves, the stick things, those are what I kind of build up with first. And then I go in and start putting like my curly cues, uh, berries, and the smaller things on top. So sticky outy first, <laughs> pokey outy. Um, and then I go with like curly cues, and then I start layering up with the berries going up to the smaller items. Okay. So, that's kind of how I did here, again, so sticky outy leaves and then building up with berries, okay? So we're kind of more going after, like, what this one is, but a little bit different. So these are Dollar Tree uh, pick leaves that I cut apart. They came with, like, a little apple and a, a ornament on them and these things. So we're going to go ahead and start get in view here and just start... The process so start with our leaves and I'm going to kind of keep it so I'm going up close to that uh, top edge because I want kind of everything you know up up in kind of the top uh, third area of my project okay like to kind of center things Okay, and then I want to go in with, these are from that uh, one of those poinsettias I cut apart to use as leaves. So then when I'm going to come in, I kind of want to get it, there we go. I just kind of put glue on the, I don't put it on the whole, more at the tip, because the tips are all going to, what's going to get covered. 
okay and I'm just gonna kind of do like a little trio up at the top because I want to cover all my space in there okay trio going kind of come underneath that one a little bit there we go the only thing I hate dealing with on all the hot glue is all the strings driving me nuts okay so I've got a little trio going here right and I actually think I want that down just a tad lower. It's still a little bit hot glue, still can mess with it. There we go. I like that a little bit better. Let's tuck that in. There. That's what I want. So I've got this nice little, you know, that way you're kind of seeing everything. So I've got this nice little trio here. And then I want to come in. Um, I've got these leaves that were cut off of a pick as well. It was like a little branch. It was Walmart. Part of a pick. Cut these leaves off. I was thinking about coming in with some of these type of... Um, let me see which ones I want to use. I think maybe those two. Those kind of leaves. You know, you might just see just a little bit coming out. Gives a little more texture there. So I think I'm going to do that. A little hot glue. A little bit of texture as if it doesn't have enough texture right there we go and it's quite fun working with these uh, picks because as you know they're all pretty much made of like plastic so um, that's why I like to keep all the glue you know at you know the the tips because you know this could melt with all the hot glue on it if you've got a cooler glue you may not have that problem but I've got like a high temp glue gun so and it's especially fun when you get like the picks on there uh, like these picks and that hot glue hits it they don't break off but they all just like squiggle up and melt but it actually is cool because it will kind of squiggle up and melt and kind of spread out a little bit and making a nice little fan motion so it actually works um, on my behalf there so it's really nice works for my benefit okay then I think what I want to do is go for this is one of those squiggles I cut off this pick here Okay, I want to be able to glue it in the center, so I'm kind of letting it, you know, it was all squiggled up, but I'm kind of making a flat spot in the center. Okay, let me see how I want to do that. Actually, you know what, I'm going to come back to that. I cut off a few of these, okay? I usually will go for like a bundle of like five or six of them. So let me get them over here. Yeah, I've got five here. So I've got those right here. And what I did is I just bent them in the center so they would kind of fan. Okay, so I just did a little bend right in the middle of them. And what I'm going to do is kind of glue them like right here. Okay, but I'm going to hold it together a little bit more. So I'll probably go ahead. I'm going to glue right in the center here. I'm going to add the glue onto here. I'm not going to try and add them onto these little things. right in the center and if they do type kind of melt on you and it kind of breaks off just stuff it back in I've had that happen too you know one of these will kind of melt and and break off I just stuff it back in your glues hot kind of spread them apart a little bit spread your little things here this nice little fan of sticky things sticking out there we go that's pretty huh <laughs> okay so now we're gonna go to this part that glue is probably still a little hot but I'm gonna uh, warm to attach this to but I'm gonna add just a little bit more a little bit of glue there and right into the center okay and I will adjust this once it's nice and cool. I will fix my little curlies because I don't want one up here and one down here. That'll bug me. 
but for now we're just getting it glued on and then once that glue cools and it's set and you know as you push it down more it'll push these little squiggly things in a little bit more but once that glue is set then I'll go back and I because there you know there's just a wire in there so you can kind of go back and kind of recurl it and then I've got some of these little wonderful things I cut off of a pick and just a second it's got a glue string on it Okay, so I have a couple of these that I cut off of a pick. We're going to go ahead and start putting those in. And I think I'm going to put them up like this way, up in this area, coming back up here. Okay, so a little bit of glue right in here. And we're going to tuck that in and just start kind of filling in those little gaps up there. go. Filling in those little gaps. Okay. Until one falls and get it back in there. There we are. Okay, and then I cut off some of these from this really pretty pick that I showed you. I love that these were like half off, so $1.60 it cost me 80 cents. I bought a ton of them because obviously you can just take them and, you know, peel them down the vine, you know, peel it down and then you've got a piece here and you can use it that way. Or if you just want a couple single ones, you can peel those off. Really handy to make our picks go a long way. So I took them off separately and then I just kind of twisted two together here and I've got two of those. Okay. And... Let's just take that down just a little bit more. And I'm going to just kind of tuck them in right along with these berries as well. Let's see how I want to do that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put them down there. So let me add a little glue off to the side here with those. I love, love these picks. I just love that kind of frosted look. They're my favorite versus just like glittery ones. Love those. That frosted look is just so gorgeous to me. They look all candied. I love that. Get that in there. Now I've got this fun thing. They're called glue gun helpers. I was gifted this. Um, it's a silicone. If you go to like Walmart and you buy like those, they have really skinny, skinny. I was going to buy a couple of silicone spatulas. They're like $1.59 a piece. So when you're messing with hot glue, because a set of these comes with a little finger thing and this and like a little spatula and something else, it's like 20 bucks. Go to Walmart, get one of the little spatulas. You've got one. So when you have hot glue, nice fun tip, and you need to press that down, I can press that in with the silicone. Hold it down in. I'm not burning my finger, and then that silicone does not stick. You might come off with a little glue on there, but it doesn't stick, and it presses it down. But I was just at Walmart yesterday, and I wanted to, to get a few more, and so I'm like, I'll come back for them. But they are literally like maybe an inch and a half skinny spatulas. They have, you know, where they have tubs of them and all these different spatulas. And like I said, a dollar... Uh, how much did I say? I think they were... $1.50 to like $1.80 in price, something like that, $1.40, $50, $1.80, somewhere in that little 50 cent kind of range there, um, perfectly. Or if you have like, you know, those of you, if you find at a garage sale, those old, um, those ice cube trays or those uh, baking tins that are all silicone, they're all that rubbery, take those, take one of those, especially if you get it for like a quarter. I've got some ice cube trays somewhere. I could look for it. Um, they're silicone. I could cut it up and have little silicone pieces to work with. Anyway, just a thought there. You don't burn your finger. All right, so I've got those on. So here's what we're looking at, kind of a, a haphazard kind of mess. But since this is all dry, I want to go in and fix my curly cues. I think I'm going to how does this one go? Like that. So I'm going to come in and twist it. Or I can twist it the way it was, but make it so it's a little more... They both come out the same direction. There we go. Bring it out so it's kind of both. That's a little bit better. I'll fix it even a little bit more than that. 
there. So they're both kind of the same. There we go. There. That's more straight across like. Okay. All right. Then I have these little things that I cut off of that one pick that I showed you of these, these little crystal picks, half off, you know, again, another 80 cents, bought like four of them, just pulled them apart, okay, um, let's see, so I'm going to do the same thing kind of around where the red berries are, I'm wondering, yeah, I'm going to put them up near the top, so there's one, let me grab my other one here. Okay, got my other one, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of gluing on that. Stuff it in here. Still got some hot glue, so I'll kind of stuff my other one in there. Okay, we're almost done with our ornament. All right, that's looking pretty. And then I've got some of these berries. They're tiny, and I like them. You're like, how much more are we going to put on there? Don't worry. It'll be all pretty when we're done. Um, so I think I'm just going to cut off a few little... Uh, I think I'm going to cut that one off. A few little sprigs of these tiny... And I've had these forever. I don't even remember where I got them. Probably at a garage sale or something. Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut that little piece off. All right, so I've got two tiny little sprigs here. And I'm going to kind of put those down at the bottom to fill in this space a little bit. Okay. So let's see, that one needs to be... Oh, I can do it like that. Okay, so let's add some glue in the middle again. Tuck that in. Kind of fill that spot in. Just about there. I'm going to tuck it this spot in. There we go. In a little bit further. There we go. This one I want to move over a little bit. There we are. Okay, and so then the last thing, the last piece is our uh, glittery poinsettia, and I took it off the back, but I still want to kind of cut that little, uh, you know, piece out and we're going to add a bunch of glue right here on the back of it because what's nice about this great big poinsettia is going to hide all our uglies right here in the center yeah that's not pretty we want to hide all of that and we're going to glob that right on here to the center put it right where we want it I'm going to bring it up just a little bit Move things around here. There we go. That poinsettia a little bit just so that that... Um, there we go, that's better. I move it just so that that is not... It was kind of covered by one of the little petals. Let that dry for a second. Okay, so we've got that all nice and dry in the center. So look how beautiful that turned out. And we started with this. I mean, what a difference. So, I mean, and very cost effective, low in supplies. If you went and bought like three of these, you'd have six ornaments. Um, say you've got $10 to spend or four of these. Okay, so you've got two, four, six, eight ornaments. Okay. Um, and then you buy $6 worth of picks at Dollar Tree. And then you have kind of your salt and glitter mixture. You sell these at, let's say, $3.50 to $4 a piece. Uh, I liked a lot of times to do like uh, maybe $3, $3.50 or a $2.4 a certain price. So if it's like $3.50, uh, maybe two for six instead of pay buying two and paying seven, two for six, give a deal. Um, anyway... Um, you spent ten dollars, and you know you have to sell two or three of these ornaments. You got all your supply back, and then the rest is nothing but profit. Okay, so there's an idea for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll be coming out with another tutorial soon. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.